feeling, everybody? It's your boy, Sinister Man. Rise and Grind Team RG, we in the building. Alright, before I even start, don't even go there. I know y'all see it. Like, yo, Sin, you a Pittsburgh Steelers fan? No, I'm not. I'm a Raiders fan. But I'm sitting in my boy's truck, so... Um, he He's a diehard Steelers fan. And yeah, they beat the Raiders a few weeks ago. But I'm going to introduce my man. This is my man... Ghost man right here. We sitting in the great ghost. That's, that's right. That, that's what you call this that's one? That's right. The great ghost. Okay. He just got, Knight just took him out of his old pro star and put him, what year is this one? 14. 14. Got a Cummins engine. How many miles I have? 214,000. And it smells, it smells marvelous. Marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but that's how we, that's how you're supposed to take care of your truck. You're supposed to have that. When you open the door, the air freshener is supposed to smack the security guards. When you open your own door, the air freshener is supposed to smack you. If, it, if that air freshener smell don't smack you, you ain't got enough. That's right. Now, I'm an air freshener fanatic, and then I found out he's an air freshener fanatic. Now, you want to give up the tricks of the trade? Hey, I mean, it, it, <laughs> it is what it is. I mean, you know, you, you got to have a good smelling truck. You know, it, this is this is your office. This is this is your your home, away exactly. from home. Exactly. You've got to treat this just like you would your own home at home. You know, and, and you know, you can bring the same stuff out to your truck that you have at home. You know, the the, the cone air fresheners. Yep. Find your scent that you like. Put it in the truck. Find find a spray can that. Has that same scent, you know. Keep your truck smelling good, just like you know. You keep your truck smelling good. You keep the truck looking good. And you, as a driver, keep yourself professional. Keep yourself smelling good. Keep yourself looking good, you know. Um, you How know, we doing the dark time? You know, I mean, I, I know. I know the style of the day is, you know, uh, you know, sagging and all that kind of <laughs> right, stuff. Right. I understand that, but. This is a profession. You're professional. You have to act professional. You know, you have to Break dress down, professional. Yep. Break it down. You know, so when you come out here, you can't, you don't want to go into uh, um, uh, a shipper or, or, or a consignee and, and, and have your pants sagging down and they can see your underwear and stuff. Nah, 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 nah. That's not professional. You, you're not presenting yourself as a professional. Right. And you're not representing yourself as a professional. And you're not representing the company. As being professional, right. you know. So when they see the truck, ah, yeah. clean truck, that's a professional. Proud driver, right? When you get out of the truck and they see you, ah, that's a professional, right? You know, right, right. So you know, any advice for new drivers coming in and in, in, in the industry and coming tonight? Coming in the industry as a whole. It doesn't matter what company you go for, right. or you go to, or you get hired with. Come in with an open mind. Mm -hmm. Learn the industry. Right. There's a whole lot of twists and turns, and 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 anybody that's been out here a while, you don't have to be out here a long time or as long as I have, but anybody that's been out here for two, three, four years. They know that there are companies out here who will stick it to you, you know, because all they're about is getting their freight delivered and getting their money. You know, it does, does, doesn't matter about you as a driver. And that's some companies. I'm not saying all companies are right, like that. Right, But there exactly. are some companies that are like that. So when you come out, learn the tricks of the trade. You know, learn this industry. Um, and please... <laughs> Please <laughs> don't get wrapped up in a lease. If you just coming out of school, learn the industry before you even lease or try to even go into owner operating. Right, right. Because no disrespect to anybody, but you don't know jack until you've been out here a while. Right. You know, and then get yourself tied up in a lease. You're looking to get tied up in a financial buying. Coming right out of school. Coming right out of school, paying for school, still paying for school. Yep. And and then you have uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, maybe an eighteen hundred dollar truck bill. You know, a month. 
mm-hmm. you have to pay. You know, um, and if anybody's coming here tonight, I love this company. Um, it's probably one of the best companies that I've worked for. Um, it's up to you what you want to do with this company. Exactly. Uh, you come here and and you uh, you tell your DM where you want to run, how you want to run, and you know you you run it. Um, you know, don't please don't turn down any loads. Don't. I mean, even if it's going somewhere you don't want to go, um, grab that load. Maybe take it to a terminal, you know, but don't turn it down. You know, I'll take it. I'll take it to a terminal. Your DM already knows where you run and where, right. where you would like to run and how many miles you would like to get a week. Um, I can say I get the miles that I want per week. I hear somebody asking a question. <laughs> how many miles you get a week? I get about 3,400. I average about 3,400 miles a week. Right. All right. And that, but that's that's riding. That's that's not you know riding truck stop to truck stop either. You know that's sitting in that seat putting on you know anywhere from 575 to 650. Yep. Yep. A day. Keeping that door closed. You know. Stopping less. You know. Only time I stop is if I got to take a, a bathroom break. Mm-hmm. Or to get a snack or something like that, and real quick, and 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 keep it moving on down the road. That's right. You know, stay ahead of your, stay ahead of your loads. You know, um, once your DM knows that you'll, you'll be on time, and you're getting there ahead of schedule, he'll pre-plan. Yep. My my DM for the most part, I'm pre I'm pre plan the whole weekend. Come Friday, or it could be even Thursday if I deliver on Friday. He'll already pre-plan me for the weekend. Yeah, I had three pre- uh, pre-plans right before I went home. I got two right now. The one so, that I'm currently sitting on that's going to Jersey. And then from there, I know I'm going up to upstate New York. And that's that's that that comes with what you running. They know you know how to handle your business. That's it. You got to be your own boss. You got to. You know, I, I like my new DM because he ain't calling me and riding me. And then the way he's setting my trips up, I can sleep the way I want to sleep. And I'm fully rested. I don't feel exhausted. I felt exhausted when I was on the morning. You know, it was time. It was hard to get up, and it was just because the way we was the way he was running the trips. So now it's more laid back, but I'm still getting good miles. So. I mean, and, and, and the thing is, just coming out of school, just coming into this industry, don't think you're going to sit there and and run the miles that, that Sin runs a day, you know, 600 miles a day. Don't, don't, don't even, don't, don't even try to stretch yourself to that point. You, you, you got to gotcha. crawl before you walk. Yep. Okay. Learn the industry. Learn your truck. Wow. You know. And, and and learn how you can, learn how you can learn how you can run. Yep, the mobility. Okay. Learn, learn how yeah. you can run. You know, some people can't get out there and just you know sit and and and, and ride. You know, um, you know, some people can't. You know, you you have to get used to this stuff. You know, and get yourself acclimated to it. Yeah. You know, you, you get out here and you ride. You know, we got eleven hours. You know, and you know, get, get out there and, and you do your 11 hours. You know, I, I've had drivers tell me, "Well, you can't do that many miles in 11 hours. <laughs> you got a 30-minute break, so you really you don't have 11 hours. You have 10 and a half. No, you don't. You have 11. Yep. Because your drive time stops when you stop. Yep. The only clock that keeps on moving is that 14 hours. That clock. 14 and the 70. And the 70. They're the only ones. So. You got 11 hours to do what you're going to do. Yep. I like to run. Uh, if I like to run my clock all the way down. Now, right before it getting ready to run out of time, I'll stop at a truck stop. Might grab me a Subway sandwich and hit the rest area. 
And, and look, even though I run, sometimes I run into the wee hours in the morning, I still go to a truck stop, I'll drive around, and next thing you know, I see four empty spots, like, oh, sometimes it be two. Sometimes I just do reserve parking and just say, hey, you know what, it's all right, but it got me closer to where I need to be. I got a load that drops off tomorrow morning. I can leave now, get up there, park right outside the place, and let my clock reset and just roll right up in there and have a fresh clock going upstate to the, upstate New York tomorrow. Instead of leaving late tonight and then driving through the night, then get there and let my clock run, I probably just leave in an hour or two, run, get there, even though it don't have to be there at the 7 in the morning, I'm early, I'm ahead of the schedule. That's it. And then I beat that Monday traffic coming through, like if I leave 3 in the morning to get there, because I'm only 179 miles out, but I'm already sitting right there by the interstate in Newark, so. Exactly. That's like me. I don't deliver until 5.45 in the morning. And, you know, I'm 200 and 280 miles away. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm already pre-planned. I already know what I'm doing. I, I'll drop drop this load off and I'll run to Columbus. Go. There's a trailer already sitting in Columbus waiting on me. Yep. I grab, I snatch that trailer and I'm out. There we go. So when you come out here, just take your time. Learn in this industry, know your truck, take care of your truck, take pride in your truck. And, hey, just enjoy it. Just stay focused. You know, come out here with goals. Drive with a purpose. Don't just come out here to drive. You know, learn how to save your money. And sometimes, you know what, when you work hard, you got to treat yourself too.